Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy Farfetch here, back with a brand new YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can actually improve awareness within Fortnite and also enhance your, your game sound and just make your game sound and quality just a lot better. Therefore, you can hear footsteps better. And also with game awareness, you can then notice where these footsteps are and basically benefit from that. It'll really help your gameplay. So guys, that's what I'm going to be showing you guys within this video. You know, if you do go ahead and enjoy the video, you know what to do. Drop a like, helps out a lot more than you think. It takes two seconds, you can do it right now as I speak. Yeah, you get the gist. It's just really beneficial to me. So it'd mean a lot if you guys could do that. Subscribe, post notifications on if you have not already. Trying to keep this video short and simple. That's what I'm going to try to do with this video and sort of get to the point and give you guys exactly what you need. But just quickly, before this video starts, I do want to give a big shout out to my second channel. I have started up a second channel for all you loyal guys on my channel who have been subscribed here for a while. If you do enjoy things such as fortnite highlight videos which i don't usually post on here as regularly i'm gonna be posting them over my second channel a lot more the link is in the top of the description you guys can subscribe right now and still watch the video if you're on mobile the video will just minimize in the corner and if you're on pc you can open the link in a new tab quickly drop a sub helps out a ton and you guys can then watch my highlight videos on that second channel let's try and get to 100 subscribers it's currently on 50 subscribers as you can see but yeah without further ado let's get straight into the video So yeah, guys, the first thing I'm going to be showing you is over on my monitor or my desktop. So you have to, this is just something you have to do within Windows. This isn't anything you have to do within your game. This is something you can do with Windows, which a lot of you guys may already know how to do. I'm just sort of covering this for the people that, for the, I don't know, maybe 20% who don't know how to do this yet or haven't done this. There's a few things you guys can do just to enhance audio. These are things I've done myself, which have improved my audio for the better. So I will just head over to my monitor or my desktop right now. You guys can currently see my PC screen. What you guys want to do is go to your settings down here. You can't really see it, but you just want to set up sound. Again, you still can't see but I'm gonna click right here. It should say sound control panel. You wanna to go to this right here. You should just find it kinda of easily and this is what you'll get. What you guys wanna be adjusting is this right here, which is your speakers. These are my headset. This is the G Pro X headset. Just a speaker, I don't know why, but you guys should maybe say headset or say speaker. Whatever your default headset or speaker is, you guys wanna basically alter this just a little bit. What you guys can do is just right click this, go to properties. Go to levels and make sure this is at 100%. Unless you've adjusted this yourself, it shouldn't be any lower than 100%. So if you realize you have low game sound and have to always buy your game sound to at least 100 in game and it's still quiet, you want to make sure this is on 100. It's a little thing for you guys. You can then go to advanced. There's a few things you guys can actually do right here. You can actually experiment around with these, but what I found personally from use is this right here. 16 bit and 48,000 hertz. This is called DVD quality. I have everything else on here. CD quality, FM radio quality, and tape recorder quality. This right here has worked out better for Fortnite and I can hear footsteps a lot more better you guys can press test right here which i ain't gonna do you guys can do yourself and find what is personally best for you it's nice that you guys can actually go through these and something you actually want to do because you don't know any of these may be better for you and you may prefer them but honestly just give it a shot so maybe like change it press apply watch a youtube video which is have has fortnite gameplay within it and just do the same for each one and just find what's better for hearing footsteps personally this worked better for me but Depending on your headset, it may be a little bit different. So really give that a go, guys. It can help your gameplay. For me, I changed mine. I think mine was on CD quality, and I did change it to this. So yeah, just make sure it is on CD DVD quality. For me, that's the best anyway. Again, that's just like that a basic one you guys should be using. But again, try it out. Don't, you don't have to go with what I choose. If you want, you guys can make a good spatial sound. Make sure this is off. In my opinion, having anything such as like bass booted sound or spatial sound or 3D headphones, if you have that option on Fortnite, it's honestly terrible that like, you don't want it. First steps are actually not that loud. Things like AR spray or people shooting AR is going to be very bass booted and may hurt your ears not gonna lie well that may be good for you I don't know maybe you can't hear AR shots but I think that's the least to anyone's worries with bass boot on first steps are actually kind of hard to make out where they are many pros actually started using this such as mongrel and I'm pretty sure they ended up turning it off I've heard many pros such as clicks talk about how he doesn't like this anymore and a lot of other pros have literally went off this now as I've realized that it actually doesn't benefit hearing footsteps at all and actually gives you a bit of a defect to your gameplay so honestly have spatial sound off right here if you are going to use it you do want to use windows sonic for headphones you guys can try it out something you can try out as well maybe personal preference but for hearing footsteps it is actually definite that you guys want to have this off so yeah if i was you i'd have this off if you already have it on trust me it isn't helping at all now you guys have done that you can just basically press apply press ok and then you can go off there that's just something you guys can change you may have something built into your motherboard which gives you your own like control panel so as you guys can't really see it down here i have like a little thing which is called sound blaster recon 3di control panel i'm just gonna open that for you guys you guys may have something like this which is built in to your motherboard 
boards. If you do go to your display tray, I'm sure you guys know where that is. Where the time is in the bottom right hand corner of your desktop. Go down there and if you do have something that basically a sound blaster or some form of audio control panel or studio, you guys can alter with some settings in here. For the sound blaster, if you guys do have this as Act 1, these are the best settings to use. Literally, just copy these settings right here. Don't really want to mess with anything. I've altered a few things, but you guys can see these are the best settings to use. For this right here, again, copy them settings. For the mixer, you guys can copy these settings right here. Equalizer, I actually did change this quite a lot. I made it personally for Fortnite. As you guys can see, I named it Fortnite. You guys can see right here, you do want to copy these exact settings. So you, I'm going to zoom in right now. Guys, pause the screen if you do have this or do have a similar thing. You can also download control panels. If you haven't already got one, you can download a control panel, which customizes your sound, which may benefit you guys. So yeah, if you haven't already got one, feel free just to download one. And also, they're also going to be very similar to this. So you can then copy these same settings. But this is just perfect. Guys, after you've done that, you can cross out with there. It's kind of simple. You just go back down to your display tray. And now heading over to the last thing that can help your audio, and that's over in Fortnite. So I'm going to load up my Fortnite right now and get back to you guys. Okay, guys, as you can see, I'm over on my Fortnite right now. This is exactly where you guys need to go for this next step. I'm going to be talking about something very good that you can find within your settings. It's very easy to turn on, and this helps more with your awareness and doesn't actually benefit your initial audio. This will give your audio the same, but will benefit you in terms of awareness and will help you at least recognize footsteps better than hear them. You will still be able to hear your first steps equal equally as good with the changes you just made but this also will just basically add on to that and also give you awareness on top of just the first step like loudness you can hear or increase in volume as i should say what you guys want to do is go to sound where your well your audio section and basically scroll down to where it says sound and just go to visualize sound effects you guys have maybe heard other people talking about this but this is such an underrated thing to use i know literally no one uses this like literally no pros use this but i'm honestly baffled to why i mean i could at least call myself a professional player as i'm now signed to an organization and this really does benefit my gameplay no audio defect and you do not like you, your sound just stays the same so there's no audio defect foot footsteps are the, are the same you can hear everything just the same as you would normally with an on or off but what you get with having this on do you basically see things such as gunshots where before you actually maybe even hear them and if you can't quite figure out where the gunshots are coming from it will direct you in that direction but steps if someone is below your building or below your ramp it will show you exactly where they are moving if you can't fully make that out by the footstep you can rely on your visualized sound effects to tell you exactly where i will try and show some clips on screen of how it works i also did have a clip i'm not sure if i still have it if i do i will play it and if i don't i'll just speak about it like obviously i'm just gonna speak about it anyway if i have the clip you'll see it in the background right now but with this as well you, you can also notice boats from a very far distance before you even see a boat coming towards you literally within about 50 to maybe even 80 meters before the boat will come on your visualized sound effects and within the direction it's coming from even if you can't hear the boat or can't visually see it you know which way the boat's coming from it then gives you time to get a position and potentially laser someone off the boat before they before they would even think that you'd be able to hear them or even see them it's so op and you can then obviously get the purifier on them there's many many ways and many situations this could give you a competitive advantage but literally it shows you exactly where a player is not only visually but also gives you the same audio effect so you're not getting any defect to your audio as i said so why not have this on like like literally why would you not have this on? It's a great thing to use and it actually gives you a competitive advantage with the audio on as well. Like it's actually great. So I do really urge you guys to turn this on right here. I'm not really going to talk about that too much, but it sort of speaks for itself if you guys use this. You have to get used to it, but generally it has improved my gameplay much more than I, I would have thought. I think many pros will soon hop on this sooner or later. All it takes is a pro like Mongol to get using it and then everyone else will start like following the wave. If you guys want to get ahead of all them guys, you want to turn it on right now, which is a great thing to have on. And that's about it for the video, guys. If you did enjoy the video, you know what to do. Drop a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. This video probably took quite a while to, to edit. So if you did get the end, that's the least you guys can do. It means a lot more than you guys think and helps out so much more. It really supports the channel. Comment down below what you guys think about this video. I just love the feedback and it means a lot. If you guys are not yet following my Instagram, you can do that. I'm posting a lot more on there. If you want to subscribe to my second channel, you can do that right now. Top link in the description. But yeah, without, without, with that all being said, it's been your way Farfetch and yeah, peace.